Hey, you're watching. This is a money drinking trick. Okay. You're going to spend hours figuring out what this is. Okay. Later tonight, watch. Okay, here it is. Here it is, watch. <laughs> Alright, that's it. So <laughs> <trick. laughs> okay. Well we're here at the, the the moonshine trick right before that okay. one. <laughs> we're here at the uh, Fairy's Tonic, a little wrap up from David Wolf's presentation regarding superfoods. And uh, we had a, we were there from like uh, six till twelve midnight, twelve thirty one, they had to throw us out, so here at the uh, after party. And we'd like to continue this because so much you were imparting and uh, the wisdom is just uh, non stop. Okay. Let's talk about some of your superfoods that you were addressing today in a room full of about 150 people. Who's counting? Superfood number one, water. You really raved about that. Now that's a food? It's, it's, <laughs> there, there it is. That's the, that's the water bat phone right there calling in. Yeah, water is the most important thing, right? It's like food, shelter, water. When we really start looking at, you know, where can we make the most radical transformations in our health the fastest, what I've learned from feedback is that people have told me that, yeah, raw food's great, superfoods are great, but this thing on water is really like the thing that had the most powerful effect on me. And getting enough feedback on, like that has caused me to propel this water information up to the front of the line instead of keeping it kind of like at the back of the line. Normally people would ask me at the end of a lecture, what do you think about water or what, should, what kind of purification system should I get? And then I would get into natural spring water. Now what I do is I actually put, put that right into the presentation so it's right in the forefront so people can see actually what I'm up to with this whole water thing. For 10 years I've been hunting down wild springs all over the world and it's one of the most powerful hobbies you can get into. It's one of the most interesting educations you can get because when you drink wild water and all of us have eaten domesticated water, we drank domesticated water our whole life, tap water for example, bottled water. When you get back to drinking wild water, it's a transformative and immediately uplifting experience and it immediately fills your body with energy. And that's the experience that I'd like people to have, so that's why I put that into the overall context of the presentation. That's great, but a lot of people don't enjoy pure water where they're living. You actually were making reference to a product that actually helps uh, purify the water, makes it more alkaline uh, or something that affects you detoxify the person's body, especially that of calcium. Can you elaborate on that? Well, we, we have about 80% water in our bodies anyway, so we want to purify our own bathtub first, and then of course we want to purify any water that we're drinking. One of the best products out there right now, it's a water purification product, is this Adya Clarity product, adyaclarity.com, and this is made out of Mount Fuji Volcanic Mica, and it's like a detoxification product essentially. It purifies the water in our body, it drops out the inappropriate minerals and replaces them with what we really want. If you put a little bit of this in just a bit of tap water, you'll see it drop out all the sediment and the junk that's in the water. If you put this in your body, you don't really see that effect, but you feel it. You feel it drop the junk out of your body and replace it with not only healthy water, but also healthy minerals. And the way my friend describes this is that when you take these kind of minerals into your body, instead of your body just kind of dancing with these minerals for a little while, they actually get married, right? Your body just marries these minerals and say, this is what we've always wanted. So this is one of the more unique products that's come out in recent times, Odd Clarity. I put this in spring water, by the way, in Iceland, right at the source, right on the spot, just to see what would happen. I still have that bottle of spring water. I put it in a four ounce dropper bottle and there still is no precipitation in it, there's nothing in it. So the purer the water is, the less effect this will have on it. But when you have contaminated water, or even most of these bottled waters, you're gonna see that it's gonna change the quality of the water and it's gonna drop out like sediment the toxic materials that are in that water. You mentioned you had some kind of uh, water uh, potion or something that you take in the morning to detoxify the person's body first thing in the morning. And that was one of the ingredients. What else do you do in the morning to uh, purify your body of uh, uh, toxins and, and keep your water clean? Well, there's an old folk remedy of taking in a lemonade in the morning and then doing a little bit of honey and a little bit of vinegar. And what we've done is we've taken that basic idea and kind of advanced it to where the technology is. So for example, in the morning I'll have just straight water and then maybe a half hour later, an hour later, 
I'll create what's called an, like an electrolyte detoxification lemonade. The basic ingredients, of course, are water, lemon. We're definitely going to want a little tiny bit of honey in there. That just kind of makes everything work really well. And a little bit of sea salt. I like sea salt. I prefer sea salt to the rock salt because sea salt is closer to the life force. If you ever capture a sea salt fresh and you put it in a bottle, you'll notice that the entire inside of the bottle becomes wet. It's reactive. And that's why I prefer sea salt. So we have water, lemon, sea salt, little bit of honey. You can use a little bit of vinegar if you like that. Apple cider vinegar is a nice detoxifier. It's also an antibiotic of sorts. And then we would add in something like the Audio Clarity. And then on top of that, put in a little bit of shilajit. Shilajit is a mineral pitch. It's a black tar resinous layer of the Himalayan mountains. It actually stretches for about a thousand miles across the Himalayas into some of the old Russian republics, right into Russia actually, and through Tibet. And I put a little bit of shilajit in there. Stir that up. If I'm in Hawaii or I'm in a place where I can get noni, I'll put noni in there. Or if I'm not, I'll put a little bit of aloe vera in there, aloe vera gel, and blend that up. And so I've got this blended lemonade, which is a wonderful detoxifier. And, and the role of that is for it to come in and detoxify us of heavy metals, bad calcium, pesticides, things that our body normally cannot get a hold of because it doesn't have the right materials or enough energy to get a hold of it. The acids, like citric acid, are very good at breaking down um, bad calcium deposits. For example, hard lumps in different parts in our body. It could also be arthritic conditions, um, atherosclerosis in our cardiovascular system. So that's a detox lemonade that we do in the morning. I try to do a liter of that, and when I get a liter of that in, I feel really, really good. And then I'll go into my day, and generally an hour after that, sometimes a couple hours after that, I'll make myself some kind of a, of a smoothie, whatever I've got, whatever ingredients, wherever I'm at in the world. And that usually consists of superfoods, a few different herbs, and uh, maybe some fruits, or you know, potentially um, a tea that I've made out of um, mushrooms, for example, or different herbs from the forest, and blend that together in a superfood, quote unquote, elixir or smoothie. Let's talk about mushrooms. You're really raving about that and the many varieties that had so many medicinal properties. Uh, the tree mushrooms are coming up now um, to their appropriate role in their amazing effects on our immune system. We, we're, we're now coming to a place of knowledge where if we're dealing with cancer or if we're dealing with a viral condition or if we're dealing with any kind of chronic inflammatory degenerative condition, we're starting to see that this autoimmune problem is actually related to our immune system. And if we can get our immune system appropriately ramped up, we may be able to get on top of very severe immune system breakdown, cancer, arthritis, um, viral conditions, chronic inflammatory conditions, etc. Out of all the things we could select, what appears to be the best are these mushroom products. Reishi mycelium, reishi fruiting bodies, reishi spores, all different aspects of what we call tree mushrooms. These are mushrooms that normally grow on trees. My favorites are reishi, shaga, maitake, shiitake. These are things we may have heard of. And you can get these now in formulas that are all mixed up for you. And when you bring that into your body, your immune system not only says, oh, thank you, but the bad guys, the virus, the fungus, the yeast, and the mold go, uh-oh, we can't hang out in here anymore because there's simply too many immune system weapons that put them on the run.